I'm Pat Patterson. The beautiful building behind me is the home of George Fulmer's Stars and Stripes Motorsports Center in Carlsbad, California. You know, building on the foundation of a successful racing career that spanned more than 30 years and was highlighted by three national championships in both Can-Am and SCCA Trans-Am Road Racing Series, George was one of America's best road racers during the 60s and 70s and has turned his love affair with cars into a business that specializes in the complete restoration of classic, exotic, and racing automobiles. We couldn't ask for a more appropriate place to visit with the people of Eagle One Industries, manufacturers of premium quality car care products. Not only will we find out more about the immaculate machines you see parked here, we'll also discover how they got this way as we learn the latest in professional methods of automotive detailing. The founder and president of Eagle One Products is Bernard Lee, and Bernard, we just saw some really beautiful cars outside, and not all new cars either. These are cars that people have taken care of and detailed with your products. Looks like it uh, could be quite a bit of work, and maybe even a little confusing to keep a car that clean. Actually, Pat, it's like a lot of automotive-related tasks. If you have the right tools and you know how to use them, it's really quite simple, and it doesn't take that much time. Well, the first one that, uh, that I'd like to talk about in terms of detailing task is the engine compartment. I just don't know how to go about cleaning that particular portion of my car. First, wet down the fenders so that any overspray will be diluted. Using Eagle One Tire Cleaner, which is an excellent grease cutter, spray the engine and compartment. Use a parts cleaning brush to get to hard to reach areas and heavy accumulations of brine. Using a strong water spray, rinse away all dirt and grease. After thorough rinsing, start up the engine to speed up the drying. Allow it to run a few minutes. Turn off the engine and use a towel to complete the drying process. Here's a super easy tip that will make your engine look great. Take Eagle One tire dressing and protectant and spray the entire engine compartment. Repeating this process periodically will maintain a concourse perfect look. Bernard, one of the things that we immediately notice on any car is the wheels, but they come in so many different styles, different materials are used. How do I know what product to use and how to go about cleaning my wheels? First, it's important to identify the proper wheel care product based upon the type of finish on your wheels. Eagle One All Finish Wheel Cleaner is designed specifically for clear coated, painted, and polished aluminum wheels and can be identified by Uniform Wheel Care Symbol C. Simply spray it on the surface of one wheel at a time. In case of very heavy accumulation of brake dust, use a soft paintbrush to agitate the surface, particularly around hard to reach areas like assembly bolts and lug nuts. Rinse thoroughly with a strong spray from a water hose. Towel dry the wheel and complete the same steps on all four wheels. Once they are dry, you can use five minute detailer to enhance shine and provide additional protection from brake dust and road grime. If you have difficult to clean chrome plated or wire wheels that are not clear coated, you should use our two-step chrome and wire wheel cleaning kit. 
Spray step one on the wheel. Allow it to soak. Rinse thoroughly. Spray step two on the tire and the wheel. Scrub down the tire as you allow it to soak the wheel. Rinse the wheel and the tire thoroughly. Eagle One's wire wheel cleaning kit is designated by uniform wheelchair symbol A. Eagle One Mag Cleaner is formulated exclusively for use on machine finished aluminum wheels with open pore S cast sections that is not clear coated. It is identified by uniform wheel care symbol B. A machine finished surface has fine grooves that you can see and feel. They are similar to the grooves of a record. Open pore S cast sections have a rough, porous texture. Spray on mag cleaner. It quickly removes built up road grime and brake dust from the pores of the aluminum by etching the surface. Its cleaning action is evidenced by a high degree of foaming action. Rinse very thoroughly. We also make a one-step wire and foam wheel cleaner, which is extremely effective for cleaning simulated wire wheels, plastic or ABS mag-style hubcaps, and chrome wheels. It should be used on wheels where the surface is readily accessible to agitation. This product is identified by uniform wheel care symbol D. Spray on, agitate with a brush, and rinse thoroughly. The executive vice president and general manager of Eagle One Products is Wally Arnold. And Wally, you've got a beautiful, beautiful truck. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, thank you, Pat. It's a 1989 GMC one-ton dually. I have over 70,000 miles on it now. It's been extensively modified with a custom grill, custom paint, custom shell. It's been lowered front and back, and it has a sound system and phone system by Alpine. It's a real practical vehicle. I can use it for chores around Eagle One as well as my chores around the house. Well, it's a beautiful truck, and uh, if you don't mind, we're going to use that truck right now to demonstrate the proper way to clean and dress both wheels and tires. For polishing aluminum, use our mag and chrome polish. This product has an exclusive Jewelers Rouge formula that will provide maximum luster. Apply with a terry towel, rub gently until a black residue appears on the aluminum and on the towel. Buff to shine with a clean, soft cloth. Aluminum wash and brightener is a pH neutral detergent system specifically formulated for highly sensitive anodized surfaces. Anodized aluminum is commonly used on alloy wheels, running boards, and bumpers. To use, spray aluminum wash on the surface. Concentrate on areas of heavy buildup of oxidation and road grime. Allow to soak for about 30 seconds. Rinse thoroughly and towel dry. A few reminders on wheel cleaning. Clean one wheel at a time. Do not clean wheels when they are hot or warm from driving. Elevated temperatures dramatically increase the reactivity of chemical cleaners, altering their performance characteristics. Clean wheels first. Then you won't be splashing your already clean paint with water spray. One of the most common reasons tires turn brown and white walls look yellow is the continual application of a protectant without ever cleaning the tire. To easily and effectively remove road grime and protectant buildup, spray on Eagle One Tire Cleaner. Scrub with a brush and rinse thoroughly. Our unique emulsifiers and optical brighteners will leave black walls black and white walls white. Be careful of white wall cleaners that use heavy bleaching agents that dull black walls and can ruin the finish of many types of custom alloy wheels. For applying Eagle One tire dressing and protectant to tires on wheels that have already been cleaned, here's a convenient tip. Cut out a piece of heavy corrugated board the same diameter as your wheels. Cover with duct tape, place it over the wheel when applying the tire dressing. Spray Eagle One tire dressing and protectant onto the surface of the tire. Allow it to thoroughly penetrate into the rubber. Then buff the tire to a non-oily, natural satin finish that will provide long-lasting protection without collecting dust and dirt. James Madison's another member of the Eagle One team. He's a sales rep for the company. And James, what a great looking Mustang. Thanks, Pat. It's a 1990 Saline Mustang SC. 
It has been specially equipped with saline aerodynamics. It has 16 by 8 polished DP5 wheels, also Yokohama ABS tires. And to increase the road handling, Bill Stein shock absorbers, saline springs, and sway bars have been installed. On the interior pad, it has custom upholstered flow fit seats and an Alpine CD sound system. And to make the interior more comfortable, the window glass has been tinted. It's an absolutely beautiful car, and we're going to use it for our next demonstration to show you how to properly wash your car. Dishwashing liquids cut grease, but also strip your wax, leaving your car clean, but dull, and unprotected. Eagle One Car Wash combines cleaning ability to remove road grime and plating and beading action to enhance gloss and minimize water spotting. Follow the car wash directions carefully. Use a strong spray into the bucket to ensure good foaming action. A heavy foam will minimize surface abrasion during the washing process. Rinse off as much loose surface dirt as possible. Real sheepskin mitts are excellent. They don't scratch and they hold a lot of car wash solution. Fewer trips to the bucket makes the job go much faster. Start at the top of your car and work your way down. When you finish washing the body of your car, take a large sponge and go over each of the wheels. The plating action and anti-corrosion agents in our car wash will do an excellent job of providing protection from the salt and road run that are picked up from daily driving. Rinse the car thoroughly from the top down. Here are a couple of tips to make drying your car much faster. For large horizontal surfaces and the glass, a squeegee can remove most of the water quickly. Be sure to get one that's of professional quality. The rubber will be very soft, much like a pencil eraser. The rubber on a poor quality one will become hard and brittle and start to scratch. For vertical surfaces, slow the stream to a steady trickle by crimping the hose with one hand. Start at the top of the section and run the stream across the body from side to side. The surface plating from our car wash will cause the water to collect itself, leaving the section almost completely dry. Do a section at a time, finishing with chamois or towel drying. Keep in mind, this trickle method works only on a decent wax finish washed with a good car wash. Remember to dry door jams and surfaces under your hood and trunk where rinse water accumulates. Another member of the Eagle One team is Sid Bowers, who is vice president in charge of national accounts. Super looking car, hard for me to believe there's over 100,000 miles on it. That's right, Pat, 146,420 highway miles. I've done a few things to enhance the look of the vehicle, like blacked out chrome, the bumpers have been pushed in slightly, mm -hmm. wheel, tire, and suspension package to improve the handling. Mm -hmm. Now with those kind of miles, I've obviously taken care of the car. One nice thing about the Evil One products is that they give good results, they're very easy to use, so I can spend less time cleaning and more time enjoying the car. All right, well, we're going to use that vehicle to demonstrate how to properly wax and polish a car, and because that red and black finishes are so difficult, we also thought we would use a red GMC to show in this demonstration. It is our view that for many, the number one objective of waxing and polishing is great looks. That means excellent depth and gloss. Depth is richness of color. It is achieved by wetting the paint with oils and resins. A chalkboard is a good analogy. When dry, it is very dull and uneven in color. When wet, its color is deep, rich, and uniform. Gloss is determined by how much light is reflected by the painted surface. This, in turn, depends on how smooth the surface is. Our Nuba Spray Wax is an excellent all-purpose cleaner wax. Its unique blend of cleaners allows it to easily remove heavy road grime, bugs, tar, contaminated wax, light oxidation, and water spots. Its exceptional ease of use will allow you to wax your car in less than 30 minutes. Shake the can thoroughly. Apply spray wax to a pre-moistened pad. Apply the wax to the surface and give the wax plenty of time to haze. Buff to a soft wall. Visual Perfection Auto Polish utilizes ultra-high viscosity fluid resins 
and a sophisticated system of ultra-fine polishing agents. It produces the maximum depth and gloss achievable on any painted surface, including oxidized paints, clear coats, and particularly on dark, rich colors, such as black, red, blue, or maroon. It achieves these results by producing an extremely smooth finish through a combination of surface polish and the filling of imperfections such as swirl marks or cobweb. Spritz is a special polished lubricating system that ensures ease of application and removal and eliminates any possibility of streaks or smears. Wet the applicator or lightly mist the paint with spritz to lubricate. This will allow the polish to go on very smoothly and evenly. Allow the polish to haze completely before removing. This will ensure maximum absorption and bonding of fluid resins into and onto the paint and make removal much easier. Use a soft cotton cloth to remove the polish. It is very important to turn your cloth frequently so that you avoid any buildup of polish on the cloth. In the event of any unevenness of gloss, lightly mist the affected area with visual perfection spritz. Use a soft cloth to wipe off. All hazing and unevenness will disappear. A trick we've learned that saves a lot of time and effort is to combine visual perfection polish and Eagle One Carnuba paste wax into a single application with an orbital buffing. Apply visual perfection polish to the buffing pair. Use a putty knife to apply Carnuba paste wax. Spread like butter on toast. Apply to the entire surface of the car with a light, smooth, and steady motion. Allow to haze completely. Install a clean, pre-softened bonnet to the orbital. Buff to perfection. The use of Carnuba paste wax over visual perfection will provide additional durability and protection and still allow maximum light reflection. Bernard, cleaning the glass on the car has been one that's been very difficult for me as far as automotive tasks. Between bugs, grease, grime, and everything that comes off of the road onto my windshield, and then on the inside, the haze that forms inside the car on the shields inside, I have a problem because I've been using a household window type cleaner, and I've really been pretty dissatisfied with the way it worked. Eagle One glass cleaner and polish contains enough cleaners and polishing aids to make quick work of bugs, dried bird deposits, road grind, tar, oil, and interior vinyl foam. Apply the cleaner to the exterior with a foam applicator. Allow it to haze completely and remove with a soft terry towel. Repeat the process on the inside of the windows. An additional benefit from glass cleaner is the protective coating that is left on the surface that acts to keep bugs and grime from sticking to the glass. All right, Bernard, I think I understand glass a lot better now, but what about the new materials that automakers are putting on cars, like plexiglass and plastic? How do I go about cleaning those particular items? Well, the good thing about these new synthetic materials, of course, is that they're very light. One of the problems, however, is that they're very easy to scratch when you're cleaning them. Eagle One Plastic Cleaner and Polish has been specially formulated to clean, protect, and hide any minor surface scratches on plastic, mylar, and plexiglass. Many cars today have plastic film window tint applied to the inside of the glass. This surface, like traditional plastic convertible windows, is very sensitive to scratching when being cleaned. Spray on plastic cleaner and polish. Use a 100% cotton cloth to wipe the surface. Spread the polish evenly, buff the surface dry and streak free. This process will provide improved clarity and long lasting protection. One of my favorites in your collection, Bernard, is the Suburban. It's a, just a beautiful truck. I know that your wife takes your three kids all over town to school, to baseball games. Absolutely one of the best features of that truck, though, is the interior. How do you take care of that interior? Detailing your car's interior is primarily a matter of removing spots and stains and treating hard surfaces and soft surfaces. 
For stains, use Eagle One Spot Remover and Auto Interior Cleaner. Spray it on the stain, scrub with a brush, and wipe with a soft, dry cloth. For all interior plastic, metal, and other hard surfaces, wipe down with Eagle One 5 Minute Detail. This will not only clean the surface, but leave it shiny and protected, minimizing dust buildup. For leather, vinyl, and other soft trim materials, use Eagle One Cream Leather Care. Pour it onto your hand and rub into the surface. Allow it to penetrate and buff with a soft cloth. This will restore natural moisture and minimize drying and cracking. The surface will be soft, smooth, and non -oily. Eagle One 5-Minute Detail removes light dust Cleans, enhances gloss and wax protection, and helps resist dust buildup. For final detailing, spray an old toothbrush or Q-tip with five-minute detail and use it to remove all wax residue from logos, letters, panel breaks, and other crevices. This is time-consuming, but each little imperfection you eliminate adds to the total appearance of your car. Wipe down the door jams with five-minute detail to make sure you have removed all water spots and left behind a protective shine. The last step is to take your softest, cleanest, dry towel, spray on a light mist of five minute detail, and wipe down the entire car. This removes all remaining surface residue, streaks, and accumulated dust. Since five minute detail is designed for use on paint, chrome, glass, vinyl, and rubber, it is ideal for finished detail of equipment that has many different types of surface materials and finishes. He wonders if I even notice that visual perfection produces unbelievably deep, rich, glowing color. An intense, dazzling, brilliant shine. <laughs> I do. Visual Perfection by Eagle One, the ultimate auto polish. I'm not afraid to